this is the video everybody wanted me to make, but it's it's a it's a bad comparison. People shouldn't have been asking this question, but a lot of people did ask it. It's like, which is better, a Ford pickup truck or a basket of oranges? It's like, what? How am I gonna uh, what, what? How am I going to compare? <laughs> How am I going to compare a pickup truck to a bag of oranges? Well, you know, that's the question. Everybody want to know about the 23 millimeter F2 on the uh, Fujifilm uh, X100F versus the 23 millimeter F2 on the Fuji XT2, and it really is apples and oranges. This is a street hardcore street slash candid camera. It is small, lightweight, it has a leaf shutter. The lens is better. It does have better output, does have better micro contrast. Actually, this is also the best straight out of camera images. And right now, that's all you can deal with because uh, Iridian Developer and Lightroom don't have the raw support yet. They will here in a couple weeks for this camera since it just came out. So, best straight out of camera images. Um, it's an eight element lens, um, takes absolutely brilliant. Freaking black and white A cross shots. When you're doing anything that has sky in it, you ought to turn it to a black and white with a red filter um, in it. A red filter effect gives you really dramatic uh, cloud uh, contrast separation. Um, there, there really is no comparing these two. Um, there's not. I mean, I obviously have the vertical grip on this thing, so it's obviously rather honking. But I mean, this is not something for pocketing. I love the XT2. I mean, I have two of these damn cameras, so I mean. Not dissing the X-T2, but comparing these two 23, they're both 23mm F2, it's like, oh yeah, which is best? Well, this one also has a three-stop built-in, a physical ND filter you can turn on and off. And it has the super, super duper magic leaf shutter. If you don't know what the magic leaf shutter is, just type in a Google search. I get to sit here explaining it all day long. Type in leaf shutter advantage. It means you could do high-speed sync with any damn thing, period. Like some old Mets flash from 30 years ago. Well, I, yeah, it'll high-speed sync on this damn thing. Well, all these studio strobes back here, you see? No, there's a professional shooter down in Australia. He's kind of a buddy of mine. I think he's a really cool dude. He does uh, studio shots of uh, various things using studio. Now, these can't do high-speed sync with any damn thing unless it's a leaf shutter. So totally useless for high-speed sync except for this damn camera. Anything. Anything shy of a, a lightning bug's a butthole will let you do <laughs> high-speed sync photography with this camera. Corally, totally wireless, no cords, not just dumb flat fire. Just boom. There's the magical leaf shutter. Two words to define this camera, a leaf shutter. Also another two words. I've not noticed anybody else say this, but it's absolute fact. I know I've tried more cameras than any of those yahoos. Best straight out of camera images. Ever tried, period, on this little camera right here. Obviously, it's not an interchangeable lens camera. I mean, this is basically, if Leica made a good camera with really good customer support, which they don't, this would be it. And also, like, a lot, lot, lot less cheaper. This is $1,300. I mean, to get something even a fourth this good, you'd have to spend ten times as much from, you know, the 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 uh, stuck-up schmucks at uh, Leica. Excuse me, Leica. I love Leica film cameras. Leica digital sucks. I will never buy a Leica digital camera. To hell with them. Excuse me, Leica. Um, Fuji owns their ass. This is actually the camera that put Fuji on the map, too. The X100, obviously the fourth generation prior to this. But there is no comparing the two. Other than being 35mm field of view, i.e. 23mm at f2, there is really no comparing the two. This is a totally different intent and purpose. That's kind of like saying, well, how are you going to compare a 60cc? I don't know anything about cars. How do you compare a 100cc engine on a motorcycle versus a 100cc engine on some little car, automobile? It's like, well, you know, they both got the same engine on them, but yeah, they're totally uncomparable. I mean, one's a motorcycle. It's meant for going off trail and like doing, you know, uh, you know, letting your hair flap in the wind if you had hair, unlike me. You know, there, there's no comparing the two. This is like the motorcycle or the moped. Except this is a professional camera. This is the stuff the hot, the hardcore pros. They're, you know, they've, uh, you know, they've got their, they've got their crotches out for this camera. <laughs> they do. The people that are the real hardcore pros, they're like, they, they've been waiting for this camera. People are like, hey, just a point and shoot with a fixed lens on. What's so special about that lens? Like, you don't understand. Um, so I'd like to compare the two, but they're really kind of incomparable. Other than the same focal length, the same 
speed f2 they're they're not really comparable you know you have to know what this is specifically designed for ND filter best out of camera this is the street slash candid slash you know this is the pocket of awesome that's like oh, if I'm gonna travel to Europe or something really really light all I can take is a backpack if all I could take is one camera and you know my sleeping bag or whatever and I'm gonna hike around I don't know some Swiss Alps which my fat butt is not gonna do there's one camera only it is gonna be this camera because even an X-T2 and a lens is a bit too much even just one lens it's like you have to pack really really light or you're just gonna something you can shove in your coat pocket if you take the filter off I mean the hood excuse me take the hood off and whoosh, slide it in your jacket it's this camera um, so that's really the difference so you stop looking at the fact that the lenses are exactly the same because they're just not comparable they're different use of intent uh, cameras they absolutely are so there's the short and sweet answer to that that everybody kept asking me it's like well, what's the difference it's like well there's a lot of difference <sighs> different intent I hope that answered your question there's really no other blunt way to say it than that so, thanks for watching. If you like these videos, you could drop a buck or two. Tell me to jump off a cliff. Whatever makes you happy. Love the X-T2. Love the X-1. I have this. I've been waiting for this camera for quite a while. And uh, it's even surpassed my expectations. Battery life. Uh, sensor improvement. The fact that it's got a joystick on the back. <whistles> oh. Love it. Love it. Love it. Thanks. Bye. Ba dum bum bum ba dum bum bum ba dum bum ba dum ba dum ba da da